Happy Thursday, Bulls. It's October 19th. I'm Sophie Ward. And I'm Matthew Weiss. Welcome back to Bullseye News. Interested in wrestling this year? There will be a mandatory parent and athlete meeting tonight from 6 to 7 in room 6135. We now turn to lunch. We have General Tso's chicken, orange chicken, burgers, Domino's pizza, and a variety of fruit. Now we turn to Kaylin DeVito with our weather update. Hey Bulls, I'm Kaylin DeVito with your weather update. Fall weather is officially in season as of this week. Better grab your sweaters because today we have highs in the 80s and lows in the 50s. It's a little cloudy today, but be ready for some sunny skies tomorrow. In national weather news, there is disturbance in the Atlantic that will likely develop into a tropical depression or a storm. It's being steered west, but will gradually turn more north. The system will track near the Caribbean islands, but it's unlikely to threaten the mainland of the USA. That's all for weather. Back to Sophie and Matthew at the desk. We have a lot to get you caught up on in sports. Here's the latest from the Sports Corner. Hey Bulls, Jake here with your sports update. As Matthew mentioned, make sure to head to the meeting for wrestling tonight at room 6135. The boys and girls golf team head to their district tournaments next Monday. Good luck to the Bulls. The football team goes north to Cypress Creek tomorrow. Kickoff is at 7.30 p.m. In other news around campus, if you're interested in the military, the ASVAB is being offered at PCHS on November 6th. It's a standardized test, which is one of the first steps before you can enlist. JRTC can provide you with the resources to prepare. That's it here. Back to you at the desk. Get your tickets for Clue. The Bulls Theatre Company is putting its final touches on the show, which is only two weeks away. Get your tickets through their Insta and online. The show is Thursday, October 26th and Friday the 27th. This week is National Teen Driver Safety Week. Motor vehicle crashes are the leading cause of fatality for teens 15 to 18 years old in the United States, ahead of all other types of injury, disease, or violence. To read more on teen driver safety, please visit floridateensafedriver.org. If you'd like to see something shown on the news, send us an email at pchstvproduction at gmail.com. If you missed the show, head to our YouTube page, like and subscribe to see all things happening around campus. Have a great Thursday. We'll see you next week. And as always, Go, Go Bulls! Bulls.